Welcome, I am THQ Sledgehammer, Space Marine Community Manager, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Space Marine Customizer. I will be sharing with you how the Customizer works and just how much detail you can apply to your personal space or Chaos Marine. We know the community has been waiting for the details, and now we're bringing you the first hands-on look. So let's jump right on into it. Customizer lives within the multiplayer section of Space Marine, as any custom loadout you're going to be creating are only accessible via multiplayer. So yes, that means Captain Titus will always hail from the second company of Ultramarines. But let's jump into our primary chapter for Space Marine and take a look at a few of the options you are able to apply to create your own unique Ultramarine. We'll go ahead and select the Appearance 1. As you'll see, you'll have five presets. We'll go into our chapters and let's go ahead and make sure we have our Ultramarine chapter selected, which obviously it looks like we have. But overall, selecting your favorite chapter gives you a standard build to work off of or even use. You can also see we've included a lot of chapters, including fan favorites like the Space Wolves, Iron Hands, and a lot of others. Let's jump into checking out the different aspects of armor that you can adjust in the customizer. We'll first jump into the armor sets. These are pre-made armor sets. You'll see they have individual titles. You can go into each individual one and adjust them from there. But you can see we have the battle damage, which looks pretty decked out. You can go to the master crafted, or even check out the decked out version of the relic armor, which in my opinion is one of the coolest looking ones for the Ultramarines. Now that we've checked out the armor sets, let's jump into editing each piece of armor. This is kind of where you get to have the most fun. While the pre-made armor sets again are kick-ass in their own right, you can now take their direction of creativity and tweak it a bit and personalize your player to your liking. So first up, we'll check out the helmet. Uh, as you'll see, again, there's a lot of different options. I'm a fan of the Master Crafted, so I'll go ahead and select that one. We'll jump into the left pauldron. Check out the different styles and layouts. Here, I'm a fan of the Veteran Pauldron. I just like the way the style looks. So we'll go ahead and select that. And I'll make the right side pauldron match up as well. As you can see, uh, they match now. Jump into the Van Brace, left side. options. I'll select the relic armor here and then obviously I'll match up the right side as well. Going into the breastplate, a couple different options. I kind of like the the red highlights with the master crafted. And then we can jump into the greaves as well. See some of the different options, like that relic layout. Once again, we'll modify the right side. And for some reason, I like that master crafted with those chains on there. It's kind of cool. Now going to the backpack. Yep, we'll go ahead and spin them around so we can actually see it. See some of the different options. And once again, we'll go with the relic option. I just, I like that gold trim. So, there we have it. We have a decked out Ultramarine veteran ready for multiplayer battle. But wait, that's not all. For those of you who'd like to go into even more detail, you can also jump in and change the colors of each piece of armor, and even swap out the badges on the pauldrons. So let's go ahead and jump in here and we'll change the color on a few of these items. Jump in onto the left pauldron, show you a little bit about how the pattern color can change. You'll see as I scroll through these, the color changes instantly. Go through all the different color palettes. There's a lot of different colors that we've in included in the customizer. Let's go ahead and select the white. We'll go ahead and make the right side match up as well. 
And another thing you can jump into if you really want to adjust is you can go into the detail colors. So you'll see we have the eagles on the right shoulder. You can change the colors of that. Again, you have the full slew of, of uh, color options panning around. I'm going to go ahead and keep that gold. Just wanted to give you an idea what that looks like. Now if you want to go ahead and jump into adjusting the badge, you can even go through and change the badges on the individual pieces uh, of armor. Uh, you'll see in a lot of the loadouts that we had earlier that there were some blank pauldrons that you can then add badges to. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit and we'll check out one more Space Marine build and a couple Chaos Marine builds. There you have it, gone through a couple customizations for a few of the Chaos uh, chapters and a couple of the Space Marine chapters. But now let's check out what these customized characters and look like in the loadouts. Um, as some of you may know, we do have a tactical loadout, a devastator loadout, and assault loadout for multiplayer. We will be getting into more details for those, but specifically I just wanted to show you how your custom Space Marine or Chaos Marine will look in these specific loadouts. So stay tuned for our next community video highlighting each class and how you can customize your weapons and perks. You can also look forward to more information on our leaderboards and challenges within Space Marine.